Hey guys, welcome to the Fantech booth at the International Builder Show 2019. We're talking twice a day here about indoor chemistry because Fantech cares about making this part of the public conversation among normal homeowners, and that is so, so important. Right now, we've got lots and lots of builders learning about this, which is also very, very important because they need to be teaching their clients about it, just like you're learning about it from this channel. So this is Phil. Hi, Phil. Hello. Uh, Phil is in charge of a lot of this stuff on our house, and so you will be meeting him again when we're installing this on the high-performance build in Atlanta. All the ventilation equipment in our house that we're building, our forever home, is Fantic equipment, and I'm going to show you why just uh, in a second here. So thank you very much, Phil. You'll see him again when we start installing. So first thing is, a lot of people say that we need to be getting rid of all chemically sensitive stuff inside homes. First of all, I know for a fact that it's impossible because we are still going to cook and clean inside of homes. And all that stuff creates particles, it creates chemicals, you're gonna be manufacturing new chemicals. Home Chem Experiment taught us about how many uh, things are being also created when you roast a turkey, for example, or you boil carrots or whatever it is. So, should we get rid of gas stoves? No, because number one, my wife likes to cook with gas. So are we gonna have a gas stove in my house? Yeah, we are. Gas does create nitrates, uh, and so those, that's like NO, NO2, NO3. Those are definitely bad for people to be breathing. Not a problem if you ventilate. This thing is on right now. So it's got a couple things going for it. Number one, this is called a uh, liner. So you can build whatever kind of cabinet you want around it that would match the rest of your cabinets in your kitchen. That's all lovely and everything. But really, the machinery that we're talking about here, that is a duct silencer. And aside from the fact that the fan, which is there, is already very quiet, you can have a whispered conversation while you're cooking. The number one reason why most of you are not using your kitchen exhaust hoods every single time you cook is because it is freaking loud. I have uh, found situations where it's hilariously broken and people think that it's supposed to be making these crazy noises. So we're gonna have this in the house. When we have this, we're also gonna have the makeup air unit, which looks like this. So we've got a uh, hood outside the house. It's gonna bring in air that is then preheating when it's cold outside and conditioning. And what we've got here is it's coming in. There's the uh, mechanical damper, the fan, and it's gonna dump where we need the air, which is inside the kitchen. Now, I'm gonna do something a little bit more specialized. Just like we did in the tiny lab, the air is gonna come up around the cooktop, which is gonna be very cool. So I hope that you'll stay tuned for that. Now, in the bathrooms, of course, most people have normal bath fans, which Fantech offers. Of course, that's lovely. Everybody should be having bath fans in every single house, period. Every house needs exhaust ventilation in bathrooms. Where it should be located is not over the toilet, because a builder calls these fart fans. Don't let them do that. It is an exhaust fan for humidity. It should be over the shower, just like that one right there. We're not gonna have exhaust fans in our high performance house because it's gonna be super, super airtight, which is very important. There's no such thing as too airtight. What you wanna do is ventilate properly. So because the pressures would get freaked out in my house, if we just sucked on it with a fan, what we're gonna do is hook up the ERV to the bathrooms. They're gonna be exhausting all the time from over the showers in the bathrooms. And we have a new ERV technology. This is an HRV. The difference between HRVs, ERVs, HRV core, is gonna be made of plastic or metal, something that's not, that vapor can't go through. ERV core, which is coming soon from with this model, uh, transfers humidity as well. So this is the new Hero line. You can see that it's hex shaped instead of square. Ooh, uh, that has a purpose. It's called counterflow technology. And basically what they did is up to the efficiency of the transfer of heat in these from about 60% to about 80%. That's pretty cool. Now I'm not an efficiency, uh, Fanatic, that's nice, but uh, mostly what we're talking about here is the elegance of being able to suck on the house and push fresh air into the house in equal measure. The equalizing ventilator part of this is what's so important. We're gonna have, they've got a couple different lines. They've got 150 CFM, they've got 200 CFM, they've got 250 CFM. We're gonna go with, we have two separate houses inside of our house, right? We've got the studio and we've got the main living space. I'm gonna go with the 250 because the number that I'm gonna to wanna to shoot for is somewhere around 150, 160, but you wanna be able to turn your ventilation down and turn it up. And these are the only ones that I'm aware of that are infinitely variable. Most of the ERVs you'll find out there are three speeds. 
one speed at worst, uh, there's not really any of them that you can turn up and down to exactly the number that you want. This one can do that. It's called an ECM motor is what they've got it hooked up with. So we're gonna have one of those. We're also gonna have a commercial, uh, a small commercial space ERV that can push up to like 600 or 800 CFM because in the music and dance studio, which has no windows, we're gonna have dance parties sometimes. And we're gonna to wanna to definitely flush out any of that stuff. You know, for, if you've watched my channel, that we all shed about a pound of skin into the air a year. Gross. So when we're dancing and when we're exerting ourselves, it's gonna be extra special uh, smells, all those VOCs that you're smelling, and anything that you smell is probably a VOC. Oh, one last thing, by the way, let me show you this. This is the HEPA filtration system. HEPA means that it's going to filter out 99.97% of all the particles down to 300 nanometers or 0.3 microns. So what happens with this is we hook it up to the duct. It's gonna literally be attached to my return system. It's got a built-in fan inside of it that's gonna be pushing 240 CFM. So it's gonna be uh, filtering out that much air all the time. And part of the reason is that it's hard to get the amount of surface area that you need. What we have in here is a pre-filter and a carbon or a charcoal filter and then the HEPA filter. And that's gonna grab all the big chunks and all the smells and everything, and then also all those particles. So we're gonna have all of that going on because of course, high performance home, you wanna set it and forget it on the thermostat. I'm not gonna be opening a bunch of windows because the house ultimately is gonna be like a big ship, very smooth and steady. It doesn't turn very easily. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the people inside are protected from all of those air quality issues and from the chemistry in addition to the physics. I hope that you stay tuned to that high performance build. Tune in next time.